A delegation from a South Korean consortium will visit North Korea this week for a field study on a joint railway project between Pyongyang and Moscow. Watchers say that although North Korea continues to call on Seoul to hold its upcoming joint military drills with Washington, there are signs Pyongyang wants to try and get along. Connie Kim reports. The South Korean delegation's visit to the North comes amid steadily increasing hopes once chilly ties between the Koreas are beginning to warm. A South Korean government official said Sunday that 18 officials from the state-run rail operator Corail, steelmaker POSCO and Hyundai Merchant Marine will visit North Korea's northeastern port city of Najin for a field study for three days from Tuesday. The South Korean consortium will fly to North Korea from Vladivostok with Russian officials also taking part in the project. The envisioned 54-kilometer railway line will run between the Russian border town of Hasan and the North Korean port city of Najin. South Korea's involvement represents part of President Park Geun-hye's push to link energy and logistics infrastructure across the continent. She agreed to support the joint railway project during summit talks with Russian President Vladimir Putin in Seoul in November last year. The North's recent peace offensive comes despite Pyongyang's recent call on Seoul to halt its upcoming joint military drills with the U.S. North Korea issued a statement last Thursday saying that reconciliation and provocations cannot coexist using the example of the upcoming inter-Korean family reunions, which are due to start next week, and the drills which Pyongyang says are practiced for war. Amid the slow warming of ties, the two Koreas also agreed last Friday to establish an internet network at the joint Kaesong Industrial Complex. Connie Kim, Arirang News.